It's been my mission in life to tell the story of my uh, childhood imprisonment so that uh, we can tr raise the awareness on that chapter of American history to as many people as possible. There's a new generation coming up, young people, and we want to uh, have target that audience as uh, uh, the readers of uh, the story. And the best way to reach them, I mean, they're preteens to teens, they read comic books. And so I th thought a graphic memoir would be an accessible way to reach uh, these people telling the story from the uh, eyes of a five-year-old me and leading them in and get exposed to the larger reality that my parents were struggling with. Right now, I read a lot of scripts. <laughs> I am enjoying the uh, phase of my career where uh, I get to read a lot of scripts, um, some not very good. Uh, and a few wonderful. And I just uh, finished uh, doing uh, a, a, mini, a ten part miniseries titled The Terror Infamy on the Japanese American uh, uh, Imprisonment. And uh, this is the first time that the story of the internment is dealt with in this massive scope. Ten episodes, ten hours spread over a 10-week period, aired over a 10-week period. Uh, and I'm very proud of uh, this. Um, I think in this uh, day and age, um, books appear in many forms, and many as uh, dramas. And that's a way to humanize a story, to personalize it, and convey the personal anguish and the rare joys that people found under these uh, horrific circumstances.